All right, so uh, good morning, everyone. And uh, you can probably tell it's been a little while since I've made a series of videos, and I'm a little bit rusty. So as you guys pointed out in the previous video, I showed you guys all about where to get vendor files or how to download them from your phone using the shell scripts, and then I didn't show you where to put them. So, thanks for pointing that out in the comments. Uh, let's try to fix that right now. So, one of the ways I showed you you could get those vendor files is going to some place like the Muppets and getting this from GitHub, this proprietary vendor Google file since we're building a Google phone. If you're building a Sony phone, it'll be like proprietary vendor Sony or uh, whatever the case may be, Samsung and name your brand. But so if you download that or clone it, your choice, you can just use the, the buttons here either to do that, then uh, you'll end up with a file. If you just downloaded it, it'll probably be a zip file that you have to extract, you know, something like this, and you'll extract it and you'll get this folder right here. Uh, computer's running a little slow here. All right, let's close these tabs, save us some RAM. Actually, really what's killing the computer is the hard drive space. Since I'm running this in a virtual machine and I'm running this on a uh, non-SSD drive, so a spinning platter slowing us down here. We can close this out, don't need that anymore either. So we've got our AOSP 10 folder where we're building AOSP 10. Currently we're building for the Coral. And uh, what we see here is we have this proprietary vendor Google file that's got a bunch of files inside of it. Now you will notice that this particular case that I downloaded doesn't actually have the Coral. I looked around and I couldn't find them for the Coral so you'd actually have to extract the Coral binaries by using the shell script that I showed in the last video. And I also have some videos where I show step-by-step -step doing that um, download from your phone where I actually do it downloading from a phone so you can see the entire process. So I'm going to put a link to that in the description. Um, so if you're watching this and you, you have questions about how to do that, please watch that other video that I link in the description and it will show you exactly how you can do that. But I just want to show you real quick where we put this file. So what you typically are going to do is this is going to be in the vendor Google folder and you can see in AOSP 10 uh, there is no vendor folder so you make a new folder you call it vendor right and we go into that vendor folder and then what you do is you just take this you'll copy it and you'll paste it in here. And once it's done copying, then we'll actually rename it just to be the Google folder because it's already in vendor. Okay. Another way to do this is you could add this to your manifest. I have lots of videos where I show how to add things to your manifest. Um, and maybe something that's we, we can cover more later, but uh, you can check those out. I'll dig around and see if I can find one of those and put that in the description as well. Um, but you can uh, add these to your manifest so it just downloads automatically when you repo sync. You can utilize uh, just what I'm doing now where you just downloaded it from the GitHub uh, web GUI and then you're going to copy and paste it where you need it to be. Uh, or you can extract them from the phone like we showed with the shell scripts and I have lots of videos for how to do that. Um, so various different ways, but this is where it's going to be. And like I said, once it's done copying, we can rename that. As soon as I get the confirmation that it's done, there it goes. So press F2, I'm going to rename it to just be literally Google. And the reason we're renaming it to be such is if we look in our device tree device uh, Google and in this case we're building Coral and we look under the let's see I think it's gonna be in our board config common and actually I think it's gonna be 
device coral. Let's see. That calls device common. Look at device common. Once, uh, once computer catches up with me here, device common. It's going to call device. And there's that device, and. So it's looking, it's looking for vendor uh, Google devices is actually the name of the folder that it's going to be looking in. So we wouldn't call it Google, but Google devices. So that's good that we check this out. Um, and we would change that to be Google dash, or excuse me, underscore devices. So that's the name of the folder that is going to be looking for uh, these folders. Now of course it's it's not actually going to be able to find it because we don't have the coral uh, vendor tree in there yet, but uh, that would be where you put the, put the vendor files. You're going to make that vendor folder and put it in there. Now if you're doing this on Lineage or several other uh, variant ROMs that you can make, the vendor folder will already exist and inside of here it'll have like a Lineage or a Resurrection Remix folder or um, whatever the uh, brand of that particular ROM is and you just put this in there with it and so that's going to be the the vendor files so what are these vendor files of course we talked about blob uh, blobs before binary large objects and we'll just take a look at the uh, molly real quick and you'll see it has this make file that tells it which ones to copy and it's going to copy these files from here everything before the colon to there, which uh, interestingly it is vendor Google and not Google uh, Google products or Google devices. So there must be another um, folder that we can get for Google devices. So in this case, this folder actually would need to be named Google, or this won't work because it's going to copy from vendor Google Molly to system app whatever the case may be. And that's all these files that are in here. So it's going to copy, well, maybe not an app. But let's look at bin. So it's going to copy this uh, NVCG uh, server. We can find that in our list here. NVCG server. Oops, C server. There it is. So it's going to copy that, this particular file, from here to there. And so um, this is where we keep those vendor uh, binary large objects, or vendor blobs, as they're commonly referred to. So hopefully that clears up the confusion for the last video that I made and uh, is helpful for you guys. I was going to show uh, flashing this to the phone, the commands that you would run. Unfortunately, there was a problem with my uh, virtual machine, and I had just left it to run uh, overnight to finish that build. And unfortunately, something happened, and the uh, machine ended up shutting down. And so uh, I had to start the build over again. So it's sitting here building. Um, maybe tomorrow or the next day, we can go back and look at the flashing commands for how we actually put that on our phone. So hopefully that was helpful and I uh, look forward to seeing you guys when this is done.